you matter and are loved in this plane and all the planes moving forward. On Tuesday, April 18th, a body was found lifeless, alone and out of place in room 270 in Appleby Hall. Um, I was very surprised to hear that because it's not like a place I would expect to hear that someone died. That someone made the voyage from life to death in a place where we go to learn. And so I just imagined a person uh, passing on in one of these rooms just sort of by themselves and alone. That's, there's a certain sadness to that. This unidentified individual apparently unsheltered died in a lounge on the second floor a few doors down from a counseling center and classroom. Community. Not only do we have to like celebrate the people in our communities, but we also have to like take a step and help the people in our communities. Even though that individual wasn't a part of the community that we normally see, the community came together to honor them. Oh, I'm so glad they're being celebrated because there wasn't really much information about who died. So it's nice that people are acknowledging like this is a person and that the life they lived should be celebrated. Wednesday afternoon, Nina Bython and other Appleby staff came together in an honoring ceremony to help the spirit continue its journey to the afterworld. Um, sometimes we just need to slow down, get back to um, ritual. During that ceremony, they built this, an altar to honor the dead. Organizers asked us not to record video of the ceremony itself. We respected that request. Still, the energy from the spiritual tribute could be felt even after the traditional copal smoke left the room and the singing of the Nualt songs left for silence. The altar consists of spiritual offerings and colored flowers symbolizing the four directions and elements. Water, air, fire, and earth. That's the message that I want that person to know and receive. Yeah, they matter. They matter, yes. They mattered, they matter. Appleby Hall is a busy place, and this is an especially busy time of year, but not too busy to take at least a few minutes to remember the life lost here.